Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. There are still a couple of days left to enter my current subscriber appreciation giveaway. So make sure you check out that video and get entered by September 10th. But today I have a new women's lifestyle subscription box to share with you. It is called Forever Shine and it came in this cute little box with some autumn leaves on it. I'm super excited about fall. It has been crazy hot here in San Diego. This is actually their October box which makes me really happy because I love to share boxes with you that you still have the opportunity to order. Now Forever Shine is normally $40 a month but if you use my code which is Noel 10 that will save you $10 on your first box. So it's a pretty good deal. They're also starting a home fragrance box which I'm excited to share with you as well and it ranges in price from $14 all the way up to about $39 depending on what kinds of items you get but there's candles, there's wax melts, all kinds of fun things to sort of fill your home with lovely scents so very excited to check that out as well. Let's get into this one and see what we've got for October which seems so far away right now. So inside, very, very cute. There is always a theme. And there's, in addition to the eight to 12 uh, items that are in every box, you also have some fun like activities. It looks like the theme for October is don't hide behind the mask. I know a lot of us have had masks on the mind for the last few months for obvious reasons, but it's kind of fun because the mask that's right here on top goes for the top half of your face instead of the bottom half of your face. And it is this beautiful little masquerade kind of mask, very like New Orleans or Venice, right? It just has a ribbon tie. So it's actually plastic, but it looks like it's metal. So very, very fun. I don't do a lot for Halloween. Usually we actually try to be out of the country for it because we live in a condo where we don't get a lot of trick-or-treaters or anything. So I do like playing dress up sometimes. It's always been one of my dreams to go to a very fancy masquerade ball, although I feel like that would take a lot of effort right now to get one of those elaborate dresses but it has always been something I thought would be really really fun so that's fun that they gave us a little mask that could be like decorative or you might actually be able to use it for for Halloween and then inside I'm seeing a few more little pouches some foozles and we've got some some paperwork so let's see what she's got in terms of like a product card so it's kind of like a little brochure and it just says hey you lovely lady why are you hiding behind that mask why do you feel like you must keep part of yourself locked away and out of sight so it's not the literal kinds of masks that we've been wearing it's more like that sort of how we present ourselves to the world and always trying to live up to that so sometimes we we kind of have a different life in social media for example or among the other moms I'm not a mom but so I hear or just among your co-workers right we always have to kind of put on this air and like present ourselves in a certain way instead of being our authentic selves and it's really nice to sort of dissolve that mask and be your true self on a daily basis it says sadly we all do it we lock a part of ourselves away holding ourselves back out of fear in this month we of make-believe with ghosts and goblins and monsters and horror movies we encourage you to remove that mask show the world who you really are don't hide behind the mask come out from behind it remove the costumes you wear the clothes that make you fit the persona you're projecting just for others and wear something that reflects the real you leave the uncomfortable shoes at home and go for comfort or barefoot most importantly leave the mask at home show the world your natural beauty by letting people in and opening up you don't have to keep your feelings bottled up inside break the chains and let the world see the real you also let your creative side free we have included a blank mask for you to decorate however you wish with whatever you want so that is kind of cool I wonder this is already sort of ornate to me if this is the blank mask that you could then decorate with like beads or feathers I always think that's kind of fun when it kind of arches up over the top so then inside this is kind of cool she's got like a little playlist so it's got three songs that you could look up we've got some quotes that kind of go with the theme for example, it says, wearing a mask wears you out. Faking it is fatiguing. The most exhausting activity is pretending to be what you know you aren't. And that's by Rick Warren. Um, and then inside the box, she does include the retail values, which you guys know I absolutely love, just because that way you feel like you're definitely getting your money's worth and it looks like we are. So we 
we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven items in this box, plus uh, the shipping is included, and then a snack or a drink, and a little pick me up letter, which I think is such a sweet touch. There's always like a little letter for uh, a little bit of inspiration or encouragement, so that's really, really nice. So let's go inside, and then there's kind of like a little activity, like a little mini like journaling exercise. It asks, you know, how much of the reel you do show the world. Uh, you might have to have a little more space for that, so you might have to branch out into a bigger journal. You know, it's a, it talks about the, the faces that you have that you present to the world, and it says, do you ever wish you could go back and show someone the real you? Give someone an example. So I love that, that sort of like writing prompt or journaling prompt. I'm really bad about journaling on my own, but it definitely helps when I do have a little bit of a prompt, just like I like guided meditations more than just trying to sit down and meditate on my own. And then it just says some thank yous on the back and how they work with a lot of small businesses to get the items that go into this box. So again, I'm gonna turn it to the list of items as we dive on in. I'm seeing a cute little sticker here with a little witch. She's a very stylish witch, so that's fun. And then let's get into one of these cute little pouches that says, you're beautiful. It's kind of funny to me to be like opening like a Halloween themed box right now. But like I said, I can't wait to get into it. Uh, all right, so definitely very Halloween themed already. We've got a little uh, packet of candy corn. I know people feel like one way or the other about candy corn, so feel free to tell me in the comments below, are you pro or against candy corn? I think it's just really, really sugary and super duper sweet. Like I'll eat them if they're like de decorating something, but it's never like a candy that I'm excited about when, when Halloween rolls around. And then I'm wondering if that's the same thing in here, if it's a different treat. So let's just open that up. Nope, we got more so I get to share and find somebody who really does love them. But you know, sometimes in small quantities, it's not bad to have a little pick me up in terms of a sugary treat. Uh, let's see, we're talking about, it says the stickers and the pin in this box were designed by uh, Random Drawings. And then it talks about uh, having their Instagram account, which of course, if you're not following them on Instagram yet, you sh definitely should. And then let me just move some foozles away so that we can check this out. So this is cool. We got some wax melts and I've started to get into wax melts partially because I've received some in different subscription boxes, but this is very like Halloween themed. So it's got like, um, it's like a cold case label on it. It says, I shan't quit ripping them till, till I do get buckled. So Jack the Ripper. So that's kind of so very fun like a little like you know darker side in terms of a label let's see what it says it says these are from chuckaboo station worth six dollars um i'm wondering what the scent is because you know it says jack the ripper white chapel i'm not really sure what the scent is i'll have to like Oh, it smells good. I just don't know what it is. So I'll have to look that up and I'll get back to you guys. So I'm really bad when it comes to like picking out scents. So I'd make a very bad like wine sommelier. And we've got a bath bomb and this is kind of fun because I guess it's sort of supposed to be like dripping blood, a little bit spooky. But to me, I'm just gonna say it's more like a candied apple because that's, I like the not so scary side of Halloween. I'm not really into horror movies or books and all of that kind of stuff. So it says this bloody bath bomb is worth $10 and it's handmade by All About Velour. So that's cool. That's a, a small shop that I think I've seen in boxes a couple of times. And then I have to get these foozles out of the way that are just, they're just making making me crazy so I've seen something wrapped up in some bubble wrap so let me get on into that I'm wondering what this is I'm thinking it's the lip gloss but there's a couple things on this list that could be in this shape so oops, I popped a bubble so let's see this is the fair hideout poison apple rollerball perfume so i was wrong it's not the lip gloss but i do think that's kind of fun poison apple rollerball perfume so those are always kind of fun it says this is worth 650. oh it's kind of sweet smelling so it's kind of apple smelling which makes sense i got the scent on that one so i do like that one that's pretty cute and i'm kind of i'm kind of digging all the halloweeny stuff the next thing is uh, the pumpkin king whipped sugar scrub and look at the halloween colors in there you guys you got the black and the orange all swirled together so let's find that one 
This is the Jack Scrub. It's worth $6 and it's made by EMVI Bath Co. So that's cool. Lots of fun like little items in this box, little treats, which is always nice. And then I've got so much stuff. So this is, ooh, it came in a little like envelope, a little cardboard envelope, and it says it is a rainbow obsidian necklace. Rainbow obsidian brings hope, illumination, and energy into the most blocked, stagnant areas of the emotional body. This helps one feel more optimistic and willing to engage in life. So that's kind of cool. We got a little jewelry piece, and I do love obsidian, although I usually think of obsidian as just being like that nice, clean, clear black. So it says this is worth $18 and it is handmade by Pandora's Collections. I really do like that she includes the website of each Etsy shop, Etsy shop, so that you can find it. So it's got a silver chain. Mine's a little bit tangled, but it looks like I should be able to undo it. And then a very simple pendant. I like that. It's kind of like wire wrapped. It's probably like on one like rod and we've got like three beads going down the middle. So that's not too spooky. That's definitely something that you could wear year round. And it doesn't look like it's a super long chain, which is what my preference is. So I'm actually really excited by this jewelry piece. It's like dark, it's black, that's definitely something that's in my style profile. All right, so this came in a little organza bag. So many fun things in here, you guys. And I do kind of, you know, I love the boxes where you get like five items and they're kind of sometimes higher value items, but I also really love boxes where it's a little bit of uh, quantity over necessarily retail value because it's fun because that way it ensures that you're going to get something that you like in here. And a lot of these things, of course, are really easy to re-gift and add as little treats. So this is a vegan brightening and repairing face serum that has turmeric, neem oil, rosehip oil, aloe vera, vitamin E, tamanu, and it's just basically a handmade essential oil blend. So let me open this up. So it just came in a little like tiny dropper bottle. So this is very like kind of witchy, right? It looks very apothecary. Um, and you could have this like just this little potion here on your, on your bathroom counter. Nobody would know because it does have a little a little card that told me all about it. So let's see what this is. This face serum is only $4 and it is by Simply Raw Beauty Company. So that's pretty reasonable considering how little it is. And I actually really like when serums come in smaller uh, bottles because you don't need that much. So it's nice to be able to kind of use it and get through it versus just having like a million sort of medium sized jars. We've got a couple more things. So another thing that came in an organza bag with a little envelope. So let's open up the envelope first. And it's got a little card in it. It's totally like handmade. It's got like all of the fun, fun characters from Halloween. We've got a witch and we've got Frankenstein and we've got a mummy and a vampire. And it says, hello, beautiful. So sweet. And then inside, what does it say? This is so cool, you guys. And then inside, it opens up like this. I love that. So this is our little note. It says, we're all filled with emotions, whether it's anger, excitement, frustration, or doubt. In a world of standards and expectations, it's easy to bottle up your emotions and put on a happy face. People ask all the time, how are you doing? And the general response is good. And you, we don't want to burden others with our issues, so we keep them to ourselves. What people don't realize is that behind the happy face, there's a storm raging inside. I want to encourage you to express yourself and let others in on how you feel. It's amazing the difference you can feel by letting people in. I know it's challenging, but it's time to stop hiding behind your mask. Let others know your true feelings and you'll begin to see how free you feel. So that is a message you could read several times. So kind of a fun thing to tuck away and maybe check in on, remind yourself again. So that would be good. It does say on the front of the envelope, so I probably could have saved it for when this occasion arose. It says, open up when you feel your emotions bottling up, right? So when some of us feel that, we'll get that anxious feeling because we're not living up to whatever sort of mask we've been uh, showing the rest of the world. So you would have that little note to kind of give you that encouragement to be your true self. So, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So hopefully if you get this box, which you should, then uh, you will have that sort of uh, in stock, like in preparation for those moments when you feel like you are sort of hiding yourself from the world. So I'm trying to get this little card here out of the organza bag, but it's kind of cinched up. So in here, I'm just seeing it says fur baby bracelets. And then I'm, there's a little sticker in there. I'm trying to pull it out. So 
This is kind of cute. So it's a little like keychain. It's got a little like lobster claw clasp on it. And then it's got almost like a dog tag. And it just says, don't hide behind the mask. And it's got a little masquerade mask on the bottom. So it's probably made specifically for this box and theme. And then of course, we've got a little mask charm as well with some feathers there in the middle. So very sweet. I love how working with small businesses really allows her to create a very curated box that is very much on theme. The next item is the button that she was probably talking about. So this is kind of fun. This just reminds me of Joy from Inside Out, the Disney movie, because she's got the blue hair and it looks like she's looking out the window, right? Or maybe she's looking in the mirror. I don't do a lot with buttons. I do have like a lot of like post pins, but not a lot of buttons. Let me know if you do a lot with your, with your buttons. And then this must be the lip gloss, which again looks very like spooky and potiony. It's kind of a pearlized dark green with a little swath of purple. So I'm wondering if it actually comes out green or if it's just like a gloss and it's just for fun that it's green. So it says this is worth $2 and this is handmade by KB Made. So let's just go over everything and make sure we got everything. We got that beautiful obsidian necklace that was $18. We got the cards and bags. I'm not seeing the cards and bags it says there's a set of two that's worth $14 so maybe that just oh there they are found it you'd think that I would have found it because it was like bigger so look they're totally handmade and so adorable you guys look at the little like ghosty couple I think that is super sweet I was booed Happy Halloween. And then it says, you have been booed. The phantom ghost has come to town to leave some goodies. Oh, what movie is that from you guys where you get booed and it's like an honor to be booed by your, your neighbors. So we got two of those. So you can definitely get in on some like neighbor love. We've also got an October mood tracker, which I do think that is again, sort of like journaling made easy and a nice way of making sure that you do check in on yourself. So I like the little activities that are included in this box. So we did get the booed cards. I have to look into how that whole process works and read it a little bit more. Those are worth $14 because again, they are handmade. Someone I think used their Cricut and got creative. So that's really, really fun. And you can make like a little gift basket for somebody special. Uh, we got the bloody bath bomb that was $10. We got the mystery gift. That was the fur baby bracelets, little like keychain that was worth $10.85. We got the rollerball perfume that was $6.50. The scroll rub that was six dollars the wax melt six dollars the custom mood tracker that was five dollars i think that's this guy so kind of high values on some of the like paper items i think but that's all right uh the face serum was four dollars the custom sticker was 3.95 and the lip gloss was two dollars and then of course we got the candy corn as well and that lovely little letter for uh, to encourage us when we're, we're feeling a little down or feeling like we're hiding behind a mask so overall in terms of just the actual items I think you're definitely getting your money's worth especially with that ten dollars off and then you get some extra little treats in the way of candy and some activities the paper things like the mood thing because I don't know that I'll necessarily do that or the mood tracker and that's on me that I won't necessarily do that I think those are just nice additions I'm not necessarily going with the retail values on those guys but overall I do think this is a fantastic box for a little self-love a little self-care and getting me in that Halloween spirit let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what your favorite item was. I think my favorite item was probably that beautiful necklace. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And hopefully I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.